There's poop on the floor. I'm kind of obsessed with the roads right now. That sounds so weird, but it is Saturday morning and people must have got super crunk last night because ain't nobody on these dang streets. Like, I'm driving bare roads right now, you guys. It is the crazy, what was that? Jordan cleaned out his car this morning, so. I don't know what he got going on back there. It also smells like straight up baby powder in this car. This car smells so amazing. So, like I told y'all in my recent video, I went to Walmart. Yes, I went to Walmart. If you know, you know. And I found these car like sachet things. I don't know. You shake them up and they make your whole entire car smell great. When I tell y'all, I'm gonna call this my car. My car smells like straight up baby powder, but not like the nasty baby powder because you got different baby powder versions of baby powder, if you get what I'm saying. And not all baby powder smells are good. Some of them smell like old, broke down churches. But girl, I'm gonna show y'all the one that I have in the car right now when I get home because <laughs> and I don't even know why I'm sitting up here talking about random stuff. Girl, I have things to do today. I usually do not film days like this because it's just annoying. Okay, let me not say annoying. It's just more difficult when you are doing something like packing because I have to pack today. And I have to pack every day, honestly, it feels like. And then have a camera because with filming, you have to worry about angles, you have to worry about lighting, you have to worry about if it's getting blurry. So you have to keep checking on the camera, keep picking up the camera, moving the camera, and do what you have to do. If you guys are wondering where the heck I'm going, you should already know, I'm going to Starbucks. I'm getting me a caramel macchiato. I actually accidentally ordered one the other day and I actually liked it. So anyways, yeah, I usually don't film days like this because it's just more difficult but who cares it's filming day and it's also a packing day so i'm just gonna go ahead and bring you guys along with me so i am packing today and yesterday was my 20th birthday you guys don't even know oh my gosh i think people was looking at me they're probably like girl shut the heck up let me order my camera macarado ain't nobody in the line jesus is in the walking business whoa Can I get started for you? Good morning. Can I have a venti iced caramel macchiato with yeah. with a double shot of espresso? And then can I have a sweet cream foam on top? Yeah, so the venti comes with three shots. So you only want two with that? Yeah, I only want two. Okay, sounds good. So you got a venti iced caramel macchiato double. And then what'd you say on top? Um, a sweet cream foam. Sounds good. And All then right. can I just add a venti ice water on there? Definitely. Thank you. Anything else? You know what? Do you guys have the bacon sausage and egg wraps in stock? Yes, we do. Can I get two of those? Yeah. Thank you. And that'll be it. All right, 2131 at the window. Perfect. Thank you. Come on, Starbucks rewards. Load. It's like Starbucks rewards don't want to load when you need it. Hi. Hi. 2131. All right. And then Apple Pay. All right. Thank you. Water. And did you order straw for this and the caramel macchiato? Yes, please. Thank you. And then we'll have that offering just a second. Thank you. All right, so we oh. got the water. Oh, I got a water. water. <laughs> okay. Already on it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, almost left my food. <laughs> Your eyes are so pretty. I got blessed, y'all, because the line just got super long out of nowhere. And it was not just like this. I'm just gonna pull over real fast and talk. I just got Jordan some breakfast, so I don't want it to get too cold. So I'm not gonna talk for too long, but I still wanna sit down and talk because I feel like when I'm driving, I'm more focused on the road and not the camera. Like I said, I'm packing. Yesterday was my birthday. Y'all I'm probably wondering what the heck you do for your birthday. Girl, I'm really, it doesn't take much to amuse me. I don't know. I'm happy to do the tiniest things, the littlest things with my family. So we went to the, um, what is it? Great Lakes Crossing. It's the biggest outlet mall in Michigan. When I tell y'all, I ain't even make it through half that mall. But my plan is to go back. Why is it not focusing? My plan is to go back with my family again so that we can conquer that freaking mall because that mall has Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Bath and Body Works, a huge Forever 21 that I didn't even get to that I didn't even get to go into. But my mom and I, we pinky promised each other that we are going to go together when we move and get some new clothing. Because right now with packing and everything, there's no reason to be buying new clothes. I mean, I did buy some yesterday. 
I'll just be talking y'all girl get to the coffee so basically um Jordan took me for breakfast and then he gave me some gifts and then he took me to my mom's house she gave me gifts my brother gave me gifts um my brother and my mom got me this beautiful coach bag it's crazy to be 20 y'all I don't know it's like coming out of teenage years it's crazy and then we took off out of town we went to that Great Lakes crossing outlet mall but first we went to tropical rainforest cafe oh my gosh y'all I've been there one time in my life now too that was one of the best experiences I've ever experienced, y'all. Like I said, it doesn't take much to amuse me. Y'all probably didn't been there, done that. But when I tell y'all, I was almost in tears going into there. It was so pretty. It was so nice. And then I just went shopping, went back to my mom's, hung out with my family. And then Jordan and I just got some McDonald's and we went to bed. I'm tired because I went to bed super late last night because I wanted to stay up with my family. Anyways, so yeah, that's the deal. I'm moving. I have a lease signed. My moving date is around the corner, you guys. I have less than two weeks yeah it's crazy and we are moving away so we are not just moving we're moving away we're still gonna be in Michigan but we are moving away from where we live now farther away and I'm just so happy because my mom she didn't been through too much stuff in this area too much stuff in this area and she cannot grow or heal if she stays in this area so we as a family are gonna go we've got a beautiful place enough space for everyone jordan and i have our privacy everybody has their own privacy everybody has their own level y'all i'm driving because i really gotta use the restroom so i gotta start heading home and i ain't drink a sip of my coffee um and we're gonna do this as a family i'm not gonna explain why i'm doing this with my family because a lot of y'all is so mad about me and what i'm doing in my life I could give you a million reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. Listen, when Jesus is doing things in your life that to the world isn't the norm, but you know that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing, don't listen to them folks. Why? Because you're going to be the one that has to deal with the consequence of not doing what you were supposed to do. Okay? Explaining yourself at that point becomes a waste of time because they are set. Their mind is set on disagreeing and being against you. Jesus ain't gonna tell them something before he tells you. He ain't gonna go tell somebody, hey, this what needs to be done in her life. Go tell her right now. I ain't told her yet. Stop playing on me. Jordan and I have our privacy. We enjoy our time. Jordan loves my family. He loves to be around my family. Don't compare your in-laws to his in-laws, your life to my life, our family to your family. Our family's very different. Y'all know I'm all over the place. Don't ever take your hands off the wheel like I just did. Don't ever do that again. I know I've been all over the place because I just been wanting to talk to y'all so bad. We got work to do today. This is the plan. I'm getting ready to go home, drink up this coffee, get ready. Jordan and I have to head to Home Depot so I can get some boxes because I went to Walmart thinking they had the cheapest boxes, but I guess Home Depot has the cheapest boxes. So we're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to get some some tape we're gonna get some boxes and we are going to try to tackle as many clothes and shoes as we can in my clothing room and there's so much to get done so my plan is I want to go through all those clothes figure out what I want to take to Plato's closet I'm not sure if everybody has a Plato's closet but Plato's closet near me is just like this girl thrift store they have male stuff now where you can sell your nice clothes there you don't get much money at all and then people can come and buy your clothes if that makes sense and then if they don't want to buy your clothes from you like if they don't want to give you money for your clothes you can just donate those clothes so I always do that I just bring in a bunch of clothes whatever they don't want I just donate I get like 30 bucks they never give like much money like 50 cents they give but who cares um I have been giving away so much stuff in my house for free you guys I've already getting gotten rid of a lot of pictures in my house I've gotten rid of shower caddies I've gotten rid of hygiene products and I have given it all away for free I mean I'm giving my couch away for free I'm giving every everything away in my house for free ooh, that I don't want which is gonna be a lot of stuff which is a lot of stuff so we are going to be headed out to people meeting people up and giving them stuff today as well I've met up with single moms I've met up with college students and they are just so grateful I have a lady right now that I just packed up like some of my expensive perfumes and stuff like that because she was just so sweet and she was just like girl I'm in need of stuff right now and I'm like oh you ain't got to worry about that I'm gonna bring you some extra stuff don't worry about that so I'm just getting rid of everything for free because I was gonna sell everything uh, just for a little extra cash for like furniture when I move into this new place but then Jesus told me not to he told me to give everything away for free so it's just a lot that has to get done honestly it's just a lot that has to get done I'm just sitting up here holding this coffee as if it's a decoration y'all I'm so sorry for my introduction I swear to gosh I don't even know what all I just told you guys this morning this is why I don't film when I haven't had my coffee because y'all I haven't had my coffee yet and I can't even remember what the heck I was talking about yo why is she sitting on the grass like that? Man, 
I literally just posted two separate like postings on here and there's already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven messages. Really? In literally a minute. Is it for the pictures? That and the body care products. What time do they want to come pick it up? I want to find somebody that's able to pick up a lot of different stuff so that we don't have to make so many trips. Right. So I'll ask them right now because there's a lot of them. There's still more coming in. Okay. <laughs> okay but like i told you guys i was gonna come home and get ready so i am now ready we are going to head to home depot in a minute yes ma'am i'm just putting on this random roku um like remote sleeve i found at walmart they got some pretty cool stuff in walmart right now i'm not even gonna lie so still screw walmart anyways um so i'm ready yes ma'am i was gonna wash my hair today like i really needed to wash it because it was like super dry and super tangled and that's when i wash it because it's so much easier to detangle it that way but girl i just did not want to wash my hair so i got some detangler and some hairspray and girl slicked it back and called it a day so do not mind this little hairstyle it's not bad though it's just not all that cute i'm not the biggest fan of it anyway who cares um oh my gosh i just really wanted to go ahead and tell you guys this before i headed out the door I love this. This is so cute. So I got home. I was sitting here eating my breakfast. I was super excited. The first annoying thing that happened was I forgot to ask for sriracha sauce with my burrito. So I had to use Valentina, which is a Mexican hot sauce, which is super yummy. But it just wasn't my sriracha, but it was still good. So I'm eating my burrito and I'm like, okay, this will do. It's pretty good with the Valentina, blah, 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 blah. And then I hear this loud barking. So I look out of my window and Jordan was sitting down with Essence. So he gets my chair and he sits in my little yard area with Essence and they just kind of sit there, blah, blah, blah. This girl, I have had way too many incidences with this dang girl. She had her dog and then she's watching another dog. I believe it was like a German Shepherd. I don't know. These dogs are big. And I look out of my window and he's just barking at Essence. And it really don't seem like she can control these dogs like that. So I look out of my window and I see them. So I get out of my chair because I'm getting ready to go outside. And I step on my coffee and the cup breaks. And coffee spilt everywhere. So my lovely, lovely fiance went and got me another cup of coffee i don't know if i thought i was gonna fight a dog or what but i, I will for my little essence i i really will so at that point i just wanted to tell y'all that story before i head out the house because girl i was so heartbroken like i had just bought that beautiful coffee and i just stepped on it and it just spilled just about everywhere but this is cute though girl this is cute i also like an idiot forgot that i have birthday footage like low quality birthday footage on my phone so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my birthday footage it ain't much it ain't much but girl it's something so here is my birthday footage Thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I'm in this too. Oh my gosh, he is so amazing, you guys. He's already started bringing out my bags of clothes out of my clothing room. I was gonna like get in there and pack, but I do not wanna show you guys my clothing room because it is actually, oh my gosh, it's like a horror movie. So basically I have tons of bags of clothing, like clean clothes. So we're just gonna go through those bags fold the clothing, figure out where it's gonna go, and then pack. And then, I don't know if this is stupid or not, I don't pack like that, so I don't know like what's dumb and what's not dumb. But, oh also, my brother won the Golden Gloves Championship. 
State champ. State championship. Mm -hmm. This isn't from his Golden Gloves. That's from last year, but yeah. it just reminded me that Brent did win the Golden Gloves championship. Easy money. Okay, and if I told y'all the story, matter of fact, I am gonna tell y'all the story. Since I don't pack that much, I don't know if this is stupid, but I feel like it would be easier. I have so many shoes in boxes, and I know a lot of y'all be like, you really need to buy like shoe organizers. I probably will one day, but I just like having my shoe boxes. I don't know, it's something about having my shoes in their original boxes that I like. Um, it looks a little tacky, but I just like having my boxes. Um, I'm just gonna put like a bunch of my shoe boxes in boxes. Your shoe boxes in boxes. Doesn't exactly. that make sense? Exactly. You're gonna put boxes in boxes. Right, because I feel like in the moving process, I don't want anybody like dropping my shoes. Because they can easily fall off the box. So I'm just gonna put them in a big box. Because they might drop a shoe and then it's Chef Boyardee rolls down the uh, <laughs> down the block. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the heck up. So that's the plan. We're gonna do clothing and we're gonna do shoes. And then of course we're gonna be giving stuff away. I need to make my way to Plato's closet, most likely tomorrow to drop it off or the day after tomorrow because tomorrow's Mother's Day. Yeah, so we just got a lot of things to do with this move. Um, I'm not taking it like crazy fast only because I can get really easily overwhelmed. And so I've been trying to take my days slower because I've been noticing that me feeling overwhelmed has become my normal. And I don't like that because I'm always like, I never feel like I'm on solid ground. Don't you be drinking my energy drink. Oh, shoot, I tried to Go ahead, baby. To I'm not worried about that. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to like overwhelm myself. So I just want to conquer my clothing and my shoes, as many um, pieces of clothes as I can, and as many shoe boxes as I can. So in the championship, you have to go every weekend for a month to fight, right? But Brent fought, what, three days in a row? Two. Two days in a row? Yeah. So it was the weekend before he fought that one kid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he fought this one kid, right? And the kid been stalking Brent's social media platforms, him and his family. Um, yeah, Brent the Bond, but you had Brent the Bond. Girl, shut the heck up. Anyways, you definitely don't want it. But, um, so Brent fought this one kid. Everybody in the crowd seen that Brent won. Okay, they're booing, people are cussing, they're so upset, like, we know dang well he won that fight. Y'all are robbing this boy. Anyway, we made sure Brent stayed positive. He goes back, he has two fights this one weekend. Fights the one dude, gets him. Huge dude, too. I'm not even gonna lie, that was wild. Smoked. Smoked him. He has to rematch this one guy, and, I, and if he wins, he wins the championship. Remind you, they had been talking all that crap that last time that boy won. No, it was a robbery, we know what it is. So he came back, tore the boy up. Tore the boy up. And the boy was like, eh, hey, one and one. You are so mad. My thing is, first of all, let me make it clear, my mom and I have had so much to do, so my mom and I could not make it to these fights. And I heard that the other boy's mom was like, get in there and do what you did last time. Yeah, get in there and do what you did last time. I don't talk like this about people because we don't take that serious. After the fight is over, Brent always hugs his opponent. He says, you did a great job, blah, blah, blah. And they're cool, they're cool each and every time. Ain't no issue, okay? But since y'all was stalking his platform and you took everything so personal, they were so mad mad y'all so upset they were acting like this boy was actually fighting for something like somebody was beating on his mama and he was beating up the dude that was beating on his mama like they were acting like this was some kind of street fight like there was real beef so for me my thing is you're not supposed to be in this sport because you're jealous and offended way too easy so brand came home with the win and the trophy and they still try to talk crap after the fight but brand's people handled that the reason why i'm telling y'all this story is because him and his family were talking mad crap about my brother and that's why i'm talking about it because jesus came through okay and he won the championship i mean he beat him up both times mm -hmm. he won both fights but he got robbed in the first one exactly and that second time around the state championship fight i i sat right next to their family too and every time they would say something i said something right back yep. it was just me being low-key kind of petty and y'all know i wanted to be there to talk my crap too but it wouldn't have helped it my brother won what jesus did spoke and there wasn't anything i could have possibly done that would have made it any better yeah in, in a sport especially like that if you're so easily offended you shouldn't be in you it. shouldn't be in it <laughs> stay mad thank you we're gonna keep prospering we're gonna keep growing amen yeah we are pulling up to home depot yes ma'am we're finna get the boxes and tape i just randomly wanted to talk about the boxing thing because y'all know i'm like a family person and like we rewatched the fight yesterday because they sent out the flash drives of like the professional footage and they sent out his fight and the interview. First of all, their angles were trash. Jordan got the best angles, but it just put me in the moment. Like, oh my gosh, and you're just so proud. I'm so proud to see him go. And the fact that he let off like that in that third round, 
I was just very proud. I'm just a proud sister, okay? Girl, what the heck? Okay, so this is literally a large box at Home Depot, but it's as big as medium at um, Walmart. So I guess Walmart does have the better deal. But when I went online to find like a good box finder, it said that Home Depot has the cheapest boxes. Uh huh. well that sucks. Well, at least we're right up the street, right? Yeah, that is true. We tried. Yeah. Thanks. I want to get like 20. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. Put those in there. And then I gotta get some bubble wrap. But I forgot what the bubble wrap is for. Um, for your perfumes. Perfumes. Eight, nine, ten. So we got 20 boxes. And then all we need is paper towel. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not playing. I swear to gosh, I'm being dead serious. So I go into the bathroom because I literally had to go pee so bad there was literally nothing in the world that could have held that pee in any longer so i go into the bathroom in walmart and it smell the smell it's really putrid so at this point i'm like smelling my own perfume i'm trying to push up my pee as fast as possible i walk out of the stall and i look down there's poop on the floor how did i not notice that when i came in there was literally poop on the floor so that's what happened that was very um scarring this dang purse y'all this dang purse makes me feel so professional i've never had such a deep purse and this purse you guys it makes me feel so professional when i take my wallet out like it just i feel so good so thank you so much to my brother and my mom hey what's good y'all i don't know i want it right here because i feel like it's a better angle so thank you so much to my brother and my mom. I absolutely love my bag. See y'all, it be stuff like this, a whole carnival that takes place when your girl needs to be responsible. Oh, you all can't even see it. Okay, well it's a carnival going on and I can't make it because your girl got responsibility. And we are home safe, thank you Jesus. But I really wanted to go ahead and talk about this dang candle. So if you don't know, in my recent vlog, I opened up my P.O. Box gifts and I was sent this candle by my girl All Things key and when I tell y'all I have been burning this for four days straight and it's only halfway through and it is so strong words cannot explain how the heck this dang candle is that strong my whole entire apartment is lit up with apple melon girl I'm not playing you gotta go ahead and get you some of these dang candles protect our black women amen I'm gonna go ahead and link down below her website she has some dope stuff on her website but when I tell y'all this candle is no joke this candle is no joke but here goes all in bags I was telling y'all about so these are all packed to the brim with clothing so we're gonna go ahead go through all of these bags I have three boxes over there that are fully packed and ready to go another box everything is just honestly looking crazy this apartment is not a home anymore i don't even want to cook in here y'all i don't even want to cook because it is not comfortable no more girl i'm ready to go Donate this stuff to Goodwill because honestly, now that I think about it, I don't even want to go through the whole Plato's closet hassle. Oh, uh, okay. Drop it off, wait, go back. We can't yeah, take this. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's just too much when I can just go to Goodwill, drive up over that hump in the back, it alerts them that I'm back there. They right. just come pick it up and people can buy stuff, you know? That is true. So, with like Plato's closet, how do they even come up with the whole we can't take this thing? So, they can't take it if they know they can't sell it. So, basically, they keep track of what sells and what doesn't sell. Uh, so it's up to them exactly so right now like american eagle jeans they're not hot whereas they used to be hot so you might have paid eight dollars for them dang jeans but now they don't even take them because they just don't sell what yeah so that's why but this whole entire bag swear to gosh this whole entire bag that i just went through i said keep 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 <laughs> those are all keeps too yes Dang. these just came out keep, of this bag keep. 
Okay. I'm keeping a lot of my clothes, of course, because, like, way in up, but, you know, I'm trying. But I did get rid of that much. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much more clothing to go through. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. I think for your giveaways, you can start tossing, like, all the way over here, so I have more space to, like, fold right okay, here. Okay, perfect. Thank you. But these are what I'm keeping. Yeah. So all these folding. have to be folded yeah. and put in a box. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let me grab a box. I was so confused when I seen this shirt because I knew it wasn't yours. But yeah. I forgot that I still have my dad's clothes. And I was like, okay, if there's paint on it, it's my dad's shirt. Babe, you bought me this sweater. It's the first thing like you oh, ever bought me. And I, I never wore I've it. it. I've seen it. I've never worn it. I mean, if you're not going to wear it. Unless you want to get it framed I or mean, something. Now that I'm looking at it, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I and because it reminds me of when you bought me that stuff, it was, it was the sweetest thing. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to donate that. Okay. Yeah, that's a donate. We already making progress. Look at this. Not really, because I'm keeping all of this stuff. We don't fold and don't take and, and these ain't just some random man's underwear. These are mine. I, Wait. I whoa. bought these for shorts. These are my shorts. Oh, look. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. Cut the cameras. He's here. <laughs> Y'all, Essence, I can leave and she'll be okay. If Jordan leaves, she has a literal mental breakdown. She cannot deal with it. He was just laying all right. You can lay right back down. If Jordan leaves, when I tell y'all this girl paces back and forth crying, 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 barking, she gets so upset because she really is a baby. She's progressing so much slower than um, Lockett did. She really is a baby. Like Lockett was just like grown. Her? Girl. I might as well burp her, right? Burp the baby, burp the baby. But I am on his home. Look. Look, he's here. He's at the door. He's over there. He's at the door. He's just standing at the door. I promise you, he's standing at that door. You... <laughs> Okay, so I am on my very last bag. As you guys can tell, I didn't really get rid of too much because all of these clothes are like brand new and I really love all of these clothes. So I haven't even gotten rid of a full bag for donation. And like I said, I decided to just go ahead and, um, these are my dad's pants. I was like, who the heck pants are those? I just decided to go ahead and do Goodwill only because like, why not? I'm just so used to doing Play-Doh's Closet all the time that I was just like, Plato's Closet, like I have a relationship with Plato's Closet. But Goodwill is definitely the better way to go. <laughs> Boy, she been crying for you all day. Oh my God. <laughs> you met up with, um, was it a girl or was it a woman or a man? It was a woman. Okay, cool. Like, thank you, I needed it. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, I'm just such a big giver, I always just want to do more. Like when I see that they were grateful for it, I'm like, girl, have everything. <laughs> Anyways, that's great. Who's the next person? Um, let me see. I think it's going to be the candles. Candles? The candles and rocks. The, uh, the decor. Oh, I was like, I ain't give away no candles. Dollar General, give me some more. I don't think we really need that much. We do. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that looks like a lot of tape, but it's not. I'm telling you, so you're gonna have to go up to Fame the Dollar or Dollar General. Yeah, Dollar General, then. Mm -hmm. Make it some duct tape. Yeah. All right, first box is done. I'm gonna go ahead and box up the rest of all these clothes and I will get right back to you guys. Clothing. Yeah, I'm on a 10 piece, two ranch sauces, a medium fry, and a large oh, water. Oh, I mean a small fry. No, you can get medium. I want a small fry. And then a large water. I love McDoubles with extra onion and extra uh, yeah. mustard. What about uh, a McDouble and a six piece or something? Oh, that'll work. Okay, I'll get a six piece. Onions and mustard? Extra onion, extra, extra onion, mustard. Extra mustard. Okay. Yeah. 
because their onion tastes good. I don't even know why I used to hate it. But now I see why my mom used to ask for extra onion. Except for she used to ask for extra, 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 extra onion. So we dropped off some stuff to some people, you guys, and they were already at like the meetup location. So we were running late. Girl, I ran out the house with my dang house shoes on, girl. I have never left the house in these shoes. Now I gotta go ahead and scrub them because these are my favorite house shoes. Anyways, we just went ahead and picked up, or we're getting some food right now. We ain't feeling too good at all at all we get lightheaded when we're hungry mm -hmm. and i really just do not feel like cooking right now because i'm just not in a cooking mood so we get mickey d's baby okay your girl finished her food i'm feeling so much better yes ma'am we've got more and more people hitting us up for everything that we're gonna go ahead and get rid of i still have so much more stuff to list but right now i'm really just trying to accomplish um packing and i've got him he's holding this tripod for me i've got him working on running the stuff to people while i pack and stuff like that and then once i'm done for the packing of the day i want to go ahead and show you some of the things that i got for my birthday and some of the things that i went out and bought for myself yesterday and some of the things jordan bought for me Ooh, how did this stain this used to be my favorite tank top and it has all kind of stuff on it trash but real quick i've been wanting to talk about this because I cannot stand feeling bad for people. Like I literally cannot stand the feeling of like feeling bad for somebody. And if you are like me and you just cannot stand feeling bad for people and like sad for people, like let's say you're driving and you see somebody on the side of the road and they just look so unhappy or they're having to walk, that stuff really hurts me just because I'm so blessed and I just couldn't imagine being in a lot of people's shoes. What has helped me not to feel so bad all the time is just pray. Prayer is the most powerful force. Prayer is the way to help people. So if you can't like really help them because it may be dangerous, like for me, if I see somebody and I feel bad, I can't just pull over and say, hey, you need a ride? Because that's dangerous. So I just pray and I just pray and I pray and I pray and I pray and I pray. You ain't gotta pray out loud, you gotta pray in your mind. I be praying while I'm in a store. I'm praying while I'm driving. I'm praying for people all the time. Just pray, just pray, just pray, just pray, just pray, just pray, just pray. Stay in communication with him, stay in communication with him. The devil don't want us to pray because he knows that is how we communicate with god it's actually a gift from him to be able to pray to him it's actually i'm so honored that he wants to hear from me i'm so honored that i can even talk to the most high the king of kings the lord of lords the one and only true living god the one and only one that's grave is empty i feel bad for people all the time y'all i just want to help people and help people and help people and i do the most that i can possibly do for people but when it's out of my hands all i can do is pray but if it is in your hands what you praying for? Do it. I can't stand. Other people be like, yeah, we praying for them. You pray. But you can do what they need. You just don't want to give up your money. You just don't want to give them no time. Why? Because selfishness. So yeah, if you can, do it. If you can't, pray and don't feel bad about it. Have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that he will help that person. I should have also mentioned that I not only pray for the ones that I feel bad for, but also the ones that I worry for. Like there was some guy riding his bike in the street the other day that really worried me. So I just prayed, please, Lord Jesus, cover him with your holy blood and your holy angels. Guide him and help him to make it home and everywhere that he goes. Become his Lord and Savior, Lord Jesus save him and make him new and bless him jesus if i'm driving and i see you know some kids walking home from school i just pray lord jesus help them make to make it home safe don't let any hurt harm or danger come near them in jesus name cover them with your holy blood and become their lord and savior in jesus name i pray i gotta get back to work and i'm not recording all of it because that is so freaking boring ain't nobody trying to watch nobody just fold all day so <laughs> With that being said, your girl needs to get back to work and I'm gonna give you guys an update very soon. Am I the only one that has bins or bags full of just random miscellaneous stuff? What the heck is all of this? Okay, okay girl, I got some cute earrings. Yes ma'am. Ooh girl, these are cute. I remember my girl Monica sent these to me. One of my subscribers from New Zealand. This gum old as crap. That's trash, that's trash, that's trash, that's trash backpack backpack the perfume oil done leaked everywhere oh trash 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 i got a super ball oh my gosh this is so cute babe look at this cute necklace i just found brand new that is so cute. Is. Oh my gosh. Look at these cute earrings. I used to be into like neon colors. Look at these pink earrings. What the heck? And look at these neon green earrings, girl. I got all kind of cool stuff up in here. Is this lash glue? Ooh, it's all oily. I don't even want it. Oh wait, why am I putting the good stuff in the bad pile? 
Wait a minute, hold on, I put it in a trash pile. I got huge hairballs I'll never use, so I'll just throw those out. I think think over earrings for a minute. Oh my gosh, you thought I was wearing those? <laughs> okay, I feel disrespected. Oh, I got a cute little sample pouch that I put all my little samples in. All these eyelash spoolies. They were probably so clean at one point and I wasted them and put them in here. Cause I probably wasn't getting my lashes done. Whoa. What? Okay, so it was a spider on one of the clothes down in there. It was a spider on my clothes? One of them. Oh my gosh, is it still there? Yeah. Then why you say it was, like past tense? And this is the stuff that I kept. I literally found the cutest bracelet, you guys. This is so cute. I really love this bracelet. All right, girl. So it is a couple hours later and this is the update. So, so far I have packed one, two. Yes, a nail came off, girl. A nail came off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is going to be the eighth box of clothing i still have a dresser full of clothes and two closets i'm gonna say that for another day girl because i'm about done i'm getting ready to go ahead and move on to my shoes but i need to go ahead and put these towels in this box i have two bags for giveaway this bag and this bag that's trash that's some mother's day stuff and some random stuff i got from walmart so yes the progress is so real i am so proud of myself but at the same time y'all this has been so relaxing I mean, of course I'm about done with all the folding, but I'm not gonna lie, this has been a really relaxing experience. I don't know why. When it gets close to my moving date, then I'm gonna go ahead and give away my couch. But since Jordan sleeps on the couch, I don't wanna give that away yet because we still have, like I said, like less than two weeks. So we still have time. So I don't wanna do that just yet. Plus I know when I list my couch, I'll be able to get rid of it same day. Like there's gonna be somebody that's like, okay, a free couch. Heck freaking yes, um, and the pillows and all that different stuff. But yes, so we are done with packing all the clothing and I just figured out where all of my towels have been going. Whoa, this is an extremely stained towel. And since Essence ruined her bed, I'm gonna give this to her as a little bit. So happy I'm finding my towels because that has seriously been a struggle over here, y'all. Like where the heck have my towels been? So with these, yeah, I'll have to bag those. Like put a Target bag over this one, Target bag over this one, and then put them in the box or put another bag over it and then put it in the box. Y'all know what I'm doing. Uh, I'll be extra safe. I was gonna list these for free online, but I kind of feel like I should give these to the thrift store because I feel like somebody could like randomly scroll on there not really need them, but since they're free, they'll just grab them and just pick them up. But I feel like at a thrift store, somebody that's really in need of clothing goes in to buy clothes and they see a brand new pair of North Face leggings that have literally only been worn twice that's the better way to go. So this is gonna be one of the golden items in my giveaway. These were my school shoes for eighth grade. My grandpa bought me these. He gave me the money to go ahead and buy these shoes and he loved them. And they look <laughs> the exact same almost, the Harachis. Oh my gosh, eighth grade, I thought that was so cool. And these are like my favorite pair of heels because they're not really heels. They're like, they have like a crystal ball on them. They're so cute. I got those for like no money. Oh, these are my huge Converse. <laughs> They gave you like two and a half inches. No, for real. Okay, so those are for my tall pants. Okay. Because they make, literally they make pants for like models now. These are my first Ooh. pair of Ugg slippers. These Look are cute. so ugly. What? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant to say too. Oh. <laughs> I think I wore these like once. These are like platform Ugg slippers as well. I'd be embarrassed to walk around in them. Oh, I never wore these. I never wore these. What the heck could I even wear it with? Look how cute. Whoa. This is my Sperry box. I'm going to keep that out because I still wear my Sperry. Those are all empty. Those are all empty? Yeah. Okay, so then throw away this Converse box because I don't even have these. Comp Wait, yes, I do. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just going to go grab them. Remember these shoes? I do. On our first date? Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, so I bought these, you guys, and they started to get grubby. They're not too bad, though. I had Jordan buy me a whole new pair. Where are they at? <laughs> I think they're in the closet. Oh. They? Okay. I don't know. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> brand new pair baby oh these are cute y'all these adidas got like hair beads on them mm -hmm. they look ugly but they cute because <laughs> they look kind of bulky <laughs> clunky oh i love these y'all uh-huh what are these oh these are my white versions of those black converse i showed y'all all right that's all that can fit in here oh my gosh i thought i was so cute when i bought these i had the fila outfit to match it sis 
because you made me feel stupid about packing my shoes in these boxes. You were like, it's not gonna hold much. She be acting like I sound like that. You yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. We gonna have to really hit this boy. Yeah. yeah. We found my uh my duct tape. Oh. Get my dang scissors! I was gonna throw them on the couch. Why? We found my white duct tape, which I'm so happy about because we ain't gotta go to the stuff. We ain't gotta we ain't gotta go to the stuff. We ain't gotta go to the stuff. Even though it did last more than I thought it would. So you were right on that. I also have to do this one too. And then you can label them on that side. Um, and here is clothing and towels, and here is shoe boxes. Shoes. Okay. Yep. Oh shoot, my whole finger just slipped. Ah! So we've been accidentally spelling clothing like C H because we're so used to my name C H, but it's C L. Shoes. All right, put that on top of here. I also have a video on my channel reviewing these LeBrons. I don't know why I did that. Can you pack me another box? Or can you make me another box? Never wore these. How did they get a stain on them? Like what? Never wore them. Anyways, these are my Fila boots. Fila boots. Fila boots. Fila boots. I don't know. So I have that pair and I also have a green pair. Mm-hmm. All right, wax warmer is about to be gone in like 10 minutes. The person wants the wax warmer? Yeah. Perfect. They didn't want anything else? Uh -uh. Okay. Ooh, I bought these just for driver's ed one day because I had like a yellow outfit. So I bought these just for that day. Oh, these are cute. I forgot about these. I bought these for driver's ed too. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So since I was in online schooling, when I did go to driver's ed, of course it was public. I wanted to have like nice outfits because I hadn't been in school in so long. Oh my gosh, these are cute too. What, these black sandals. The heck is this? Oh, okay. They're cute. I don't know how I'm gonna wear them. I bought these like a year after I started my YouTube channel and I wore these down, not down to nothing because they still look nice, but I wore these each and every day, y'all. I was so proud of these shoes. I got them on Black Friday for like $10. That junk was crazy. My mama bought me these. I never wore them. She bought me these last year for my birthday, and she also bought me a golden cream pair. So I definitely cannot wait to wear these. Little MK sandals. Yes, ma'am. I don't know why I'm doing a shoe collection, but I mean, why not? We doing shoes right now. Why not show them? Why just stuff them in the box? And my shoe size, girl, I've been wearing the same shoe size since sixth grade. I can still wear my sixth grade uh, Futures, the Jordan Futures. I had the red ones. I can still wear mine. And I got them with the income tax money when I was little in sixth grade. Shoes. All right. Y'all look at my baby. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> these are my UGG winter boots. I paid $300 for these, y'all. And these will be my forever winter boots. Ain't no need for no other winter boots when you got these. Ain't no need. One combat boot one combat boot where the heck is the other combat boot my first pair of combat boots i got in fifth grade and i begged my dad for them and he got them for me and these are the shoes um that i wore to my dad's funeral here are my first pair of timberlands so cute i love these shoes another ruined how do i get that off you probably scrub it off <sighs> can you see if they fit in that cupid box if not we got to find a vacant box because this one don't got a cat i'm gonna throw that away get away from me I bought these Uggs at Marshalls. Heck yes. These are those other um, MK sandals I was telling y'all about that my mom bought. I remember when my mom bought these for me in eighth grade. I didn't even like the shoes. They are hideous. They are so ugly, but everybody was wearing the red and white pair. And so I didn't want to be like everybody else. So I got these pair, right? Girl, everybody was like, oh my gosh, your shoes, blah, blah, blah. I only did it for the attention because there ain't no way I wear them shoes. Them shoes so dang ugly. Ooh. But yeah, them is cute. I got these at Burlington, y'all. Some rare Jordans. And they're furry Jordans. Oh, I bought these at Marshalls, too. These are so cute. They're, like, fitted. They're very different, but they're really cute. My Sperry's. I bought them a little bit too big. It's so annoying. This was when I was tapping into my Skecher, um swag, y'all. So I bought these at DSW. Thank you. Thank you to whatever. Thank you. I can tell this is from the beauty supply store already. Look at these things. Oh my gosh, those things is flying. They are huge. I randomly bought these one day. Oh, these cute. Them is cute. I had bought these at Famous Footwear. And then these, I wore these. And the first time I ever wore them, like I literally stained them. So that's pretty sad. But these are um the yellow version of those black Uggs. These were my futures. 
in sixth grade, you guys. The bottoms didn't used to look like that, but these were my futures, y'all. Vans. Ooh, an all white pair. I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, if I'd have known I had these, I'd have been wearing them. This move was a blessing in so many ways. I had to buy these in Miami because Birkenstock, they sold me a defected pair of sandals and it like has a lump that comes out and it like literally scrapes my skin off. So when I was there, my feet were like raw. So I had to buy these like lilac Crocs. Girl, they're so cute. We are getting down to the end here. Oh my gosh, what is up with me in these dang boots? Okay, I do remember these though. Are there any more shoes? Ooh, okay. Are there any more shoes? Yeah, the only ones are up on top of the box next to you and then there's some inside the office like without boxes. And I totally forgot I have three closets and the third closet has a bunch of shoes in it as well. So, I thought I was done. Girl, we're not done with the shoes yet. We're not done with the shoes at all. I think I'm gonna donate these Sperry's because I just haven't worn them at all. I'm gonna run a lint roller over them. They still have the tag on them. I got them from TJ Maxx. I'm gonna run a lint roller over them. But if you're gonna give me like loose shoes, then give me like a bunch of grocery bags. These are my Adidas sandals. Girl, bye. I'm doing a shoe collection, as you can see. One shoe in one bag. Another shoe in another. These are so cute. Why don't I wear those? I stubbed my toe earlier, y'all. All right, I'm gonna pack up the rest of these shoes and I'll get back to y'all. Yes, ma'am. And I am done packing for the night. That box is still open because I'm still picking stuff out of it to give away, as well as that one over here. And girl, I feel so accomplished. Girl, I did an amazing amount today. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and head to my mom's house for a pre-Mother's Day hangout. Yes, ma'am. But before I go ahead and head out, as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of my birthday gifts. My birthstone is emerald so my mom got me an emerald and gold ring how freaking beautiful and then she got me this ring and everything she gets me is real y'all okay so she got me that ring this jewelry box that my little brother bought me last year is really coming in clutch because girl did i get jewelry for my birthday okay and then my mom got me a real golden necklace and bracelet. So that would be the bracelet. Yes, ma'am. And this is the necklace. Remind you, she also bought me this one. And then of course, her and my little brother got me this bag together. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed with that dang bag, you guys. I can't even deal. And then my nephew, he got me a birthday hat. So I wore that for my birthday. He got me this cute little water bottle. So cute. Socks. He got me scrunchies. How sweet of him. He got me some diamond pens. I love these pens. He got me a mermaid pen. And he got me a bag of these. <laughs> Girl, I went to this random shop. I don't know what the heck this is, but it's cute. I'm gonna have to wear it with like, well, I honestly do not know. But is this not cute? Like, maybe not. But I think it's cute. I'm gonna rock it. And y'all know I had to also get the pink one and they were literally on sale for $22. They're originally $50, but Gordo, Gordo, Gordo. Jordan got me a bunch of Nike jackets and I love oversized jackets so he got me some oversized jackets yes ma'am so this is the first jacket he got me so cute I love it this is the second jacket he bought me so cute oops so cute I love oversized and then I bought these like Jordan pants they're super cute you guys I'm not even gonna lie they are literally adorable Yes, ma'am. Jordan bought me this um, oversized Nike hoodie again. Super cute. Isn't that literally so adorable? He got me another one. Look how freaking cute. Oh, Jordan had also got me this um, J'adore Dior body cream. I had been wanting this dang J'adore Dior body cream and Jordan also picked this up for me. He also got me six candles. I got Capri Waves, Blue Bungalow, Eucalyptus Rain, Laundry Day. Oh my gosh, that is the strongest of them all. And then he bought me two sea salt and Neroli's. This one, I can't even explain to you. My mom introduced me to this and this is absolutely wild. Okay, I need to go ahead and head up out of here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end off the haul with some perfume oils that I bought. Yes, ma'am. Shout out to my boy Francisco. He was amazing. He literally gave me one, two, three, four, five free perfume oils. Lately, I've been seeing these like pop-up, stand-up, fragrance oil, like little shops. <clears throat> and you can make your own perfume oil if you mix different ones together. And then they have already like pre-made original perfume kind of ones. Girl, I go over there 
and they literally have so many of my favorite fragrance and oils. And y'all know from my recent video that I love to use fragrance oils on my body to really elongate that fragrance, okay? To really make it last, to really layer in my skin always has an amazing smell. I just sprayed this on so I have to go ahead and talk about it because this is crazy. So this is called Sweet and Sexy by OMGOils.com. This is the biggest bottle they sell you guys and it's a spray bottle. So he said they make their oils to where you can spray it on your clothes and it won't damage your clothes but I spray a lot of perfume so I'm not even gonna mess around with spraying this on my clothes y'all. I'm just gonna spray it on my body. This is very sweet. I don't even want to say sexy because girl for what? I think it's sweet and classy. Very strong, very beautiful. If you're into very sweet and unique fragrances. But anyways, apart from that, let's get into the rest of the perfume oils that I got. So you can pick your size and everything, and they literally have like all your favorite perfumes in a perfume oil. This is Jimmy Choo Fever. I absolutely love this fragrance. I had a Victoria's Secret employee literally hawk me down to figure out what the heck that dang bottle was. Not that one, but the perfume. And then she had to take a picture of it. Versace Echos. Mind you, I have every single one of these fragrances. So it was that much more exciting. I got Rebel Floor. Y'all know I love my Rihanna Rebel Floor. And then for my five free ones, he gave me the Kim K. I love the Kim K, you guys. Remind you, I picked all of these out myself. And I was gonna buy them. I planned on buying them, but he was just like, Happy birthday. Be Delicious by DKMY, since when? Coach Poppy, Chance Tenzure, we have this and Coco Noir. Girl, stop playing with me because it's like a dream come true. I cannot believe that I was able to go pick out my own fragrance oil, smell them. I could do two of these and one of these, and I threw that for 30. Okay. I got That'll work, but I probably won't stop there. I would go, I would go, I would go, take your time. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna get this one. I'm on fever, and I'm gonna get fever and this size. Yeah. All of these fragrance oils are so strong and they smell so amazing. It really topped off my birthday. It was like the cherry topper. It was just like a dream come true. You guys know how much I love fragrance and that was my favorite part of my birthday as well as the Rainforest Cafe. I just love my birthday. I literally couldn't have asked for a better birthday. I couldn't have had a better birthday. I'm so grateful for my birthday. I could get emotional thinking about it because I literally enjoyed myself and those perfume oils really made my day. And then he gave me some for free and it was just like, oh my gosh, Jesus is in the, is in the working business. I always pray that he prepares the heart of the people that I'm going to encounter and go before me. And I'm just so grateful and I'm just happy. So that is my day today, you guys. I just got up, got some Starbucks. I spilled my coffee, cried a little bit, had to sit in the shower and calm down. I don't know why it bothered me so much. It just bothered me. And then went to the store, got the stuff, packed up, got some food. We've been running back and forth, meeting people up as well, throwing stuff away. We've been doing stuff off the camera as well, walking the dogs, taking the trash out, all kind of stuff, y'all. So I've had a pretty busy day, especially behind the scenes. But with that being said, I feel so accomplished. I feel so amazing. Thank you, Jesus, for today. And thank you so much for checking out today's video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys making it to the end of today's video. You're an OG. I love you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus Christ wastes nothing. Your past, he ain't gonna waste it. He gonna work it out for you good.